let's see what else we can do with Arttext 2. This time what I've done is I've chosen something from our styles panel. Third tab on the right hand side there. A number of things you can choose from there to have as a starting point for your design. And what we'll do is we'll just choose this simple icon logo. And we're going to double click on it. And we're going to edit it as a shape. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some vector editing by grabbing those two nodes there and just dragging them across until we get them there. See the way we've got the blue lines there to help us line things up as well. We'll just select those two nodes at the bottom there too, bring those down. So we've done something to our design. If you want to, you can add extra bits to your design. So for instance, maybe we want to have a, an extra rectangle in here. We could take that and we could bring that in. So it goes into there. Also what is possible is to put in circles or ovals. If you hold down the shift key it constrains it into a circle shape and if you let it go and just let it drag out it becomes an oval. If we want to move that across now what I have to do is I have to grab all the nodes and bring them over. And we can add a node there and when you've added a node in deselect those nodes first of all. When you add a node in what you can do then is to take that node and we can drag that and change that. We can take those, we can move it around and change the shape of that however we want. Lines with corner point. There we go. And we can change it back into a smooth point if we want to or sharp point. Click on OK. If we were to click on a reverse then that would take it back to our starting point for that in here. We've got our logo with our new shapes and things in it. How good is that then? Okay, so what else can we do? Let's um, add another layer. And we could perhaps add a star if we wanted to. Or we could have uh, an icon. That icon there could be very nice. Put that over there. And then we can go to our effects tab and change it so that it's got 3D effect onto it and put a stroke onto it if we want to, same as we were doing before. Or we'll have some shadows and blurs. Let's make the shadow drop down further so it looks like it's further off the page. Okay, so another thing that you might want to do is you might want to take this layer here and have instead of having a just plain old shape with colours to make it look three dimensional. Maybe what you really want is to have something where you've got a picture in the background which could be these autumn leaves or it could be these flowers. Let's have those flowers. That's really lovely isn't it? So we've got these flowers in the background but it's flat now. We won't want flat. We want to have something that looks 3D. So how do we do that? Well quite simply what we need to do is we need to let's do a duplicate so now we've got a duplicate. So this one here is the one that's on top. So we go back to uh, this one over here and we've just changed it so it's got this uh, blue thing over the top there. Then we go over to our layers panel there and we just change the blend mode. So if we go to uh, multiply compositing, as you see now what we've got, we've got a dark version of our picture underneath and we've got the 3D effect over there so it does work. Let's see what else, see if we can get it looking a little bit better. We get our overlay and you see we've got the 3D effect there. How dark this part here is, the design depends upon what type of uh, colour we're using on the the uh, this one here so let's change that. We've still got our 3D but instead we've got the flowers looking a little bit lighter. One more thing that you can do with your art text and you can make your own logo.